Welcome into Clear Picture Financial. Your host is Jason Noble. I'm Morgan Patrick, consumer advocate. You can find Jason at Prime Capital Investment Advisors. Fiduciary advisor has his FINRA Series 66 securities registration, certified financial planner, and retirement income certified professional with 18 years in the financial arena, helping his clients get ready for retirement. There's going to be an opportunity uh, during this program to get on the calendar with Jason, talk about your retirement situation, uh, and we will open those spots up here in just a little bit. But it's always about retirement, and so we wanted to get into it, kind of to help educate the public when it comes to retirement planning. Transamerica, the big pyramid, we know that, recently conducted a survey to see what people know and what they don't know about retirement. And what they don't know, well, it's a little bit scary, folks. And to set the stage, we check in with CNBC's Sharon Epperson, and she's talking with Shelly Ann Ueka, and it is the subject of the day. Yet many Americans know they're unprepared. A recent survey finds only 29% have a written financial plan, which some experts say can serve as a guide to help stress test your strategy. It can illustrate or simulate how your retirement goal will be impacted by different inflationary periods, different periods of market volatility. Again, Shelly Anueka joining uh, CNBC's Sharon Epperson. And market volatility is uh, is a concern, but just that statement alone in the Transamerica survey we're going to get into, I mean, but do, do the numbers surprise you, Jason? Yeah, Morgan. It is shocking that only 29% have a written financial plan, but not to me as a professional. Okay, there are advisors in my industry that will provide a written financial plan, you know, for a fee, of course. But there is very little to no follow up to see how well that plan is being executed. Another item worthy of considering is the dynamics at play with every financial plan. As a financial advisor, I need to account for four major dynamics that are always changing when it comes to helping my clients reach their goals. The first dynamic is the stock market. And no one needs reminding how dynamic the market is, especially in this environment, right? But the second dynamic is the economy. And we're seeing that with inflation rates, higher gas prices, and the Federal Reserve actions, right? But that's always the case when it comes to managing and uh, and, uh, being effective in managing Mm -hmm. the dynamics of financial planning, okay? The third dynamic is new laws and regulations. So a new tax code law that comes out or a change to the Social Security system through Congress are major factors in this dynamic. And a fourth, but the most dynamic and the most important of all the dynamics is my clients' lives. We live in a very dynamic lives and when with, with moving to another city or a job change, baby on the way, with the loss of a loved one. These are things that we choose to do and then there's also things that happen to us. So having a clear picture on your financial future is just so important that the advisor takes all those items into account and updates your written financial plan throughout the year. Now, it's a very interesting survey that Transamerica has showed additional information. So I'm thinking, let's dig into those numbers, Morgan. All right. I I like it. Uh, We want to remind, too, uh, our listeners and our viewers, uh, clearpicturefinancial.com, great website, great resource for you. Uh, Again, uh, there are going to be opportunities to get in touch with Prime Capital Investment Advisors and make appointments with Jason and his team. Uh, We're going to give you uh, a couple of spots on his calendar coming up here in just a little bit. That's no cost, no obligation, and no pressure. But the Transamerica survey that you referenced and we're talking about right now, let's get into it. Uh, Interesting numbers. And again, uh, from Transamerica, I I was kind of surprised. Written financial strategy for retirement, we kind of talked about it. The 29% number, man, that is extremely low. Yeah, what the survey found is most workers, about 70% have some form of financial strategy for retirement, but only 29 have a written plan. 41% said they have an unwritten plan. So I'm not really sure what that meant to have an unwritten plan, but 41% said that that's what they had. I mean, you look at that 41, and that's probably that category of people thinking about retirement, but they haven't really made any kind of effort 
uh, to kind of put it down in writing, work with a professional. There's going to be that opportunity to get on the counter with Jason Noble at Prime Capital Investment Advisors. You can talk about your retirement situation. Uh, and again, if you haven't started, great opportunity to do it. Uh, if you're in the middle of something and you just have questions and you're not getting answers, get a second opinion. And then there are a lot of you out there that have the portfolio. Uh, you feel like you're good for retirement, but having a portfolio is fantastic, but it's not a plan for retirement. We talk about it each and every week here on the program. So continuing with the survey, Transamerica did this, and, and, and again, talking with pre-retirees and retirees, and the numbers that they got back were kind of startling. Uh, and the fact that this next number is the backup plan situation, uh, the safety plan, what if the what if plan. Jason and, and a lot of a lot of people don't don't even consider the what if plan because you're going to have some things happen to you. That's absolutely right. It was what I was mentioning before: the things we plan for and the things that happen to us. And 37 percent of workers have a backup plan for retirement income if they're unable to work for their plan of retirement age. That's only 37 percent, though. That means the majority are not having that backup plan. And it was just a couple of years ago. My clients that were working at Boeing here in Charleston, mm -hmm. they had some financial strain that was going on at the company level, and they were looking at taking involuntary layoffs and voluntary layoffs. Well, those involuntary layoffs are just a nice way of saying they're going to get laid off, right? Right. And um, you could imagine all my clients that were at Boeing, I wanted to make sure that we had that backup plan in case they got that letter, in case they got that notification from their manager. And there were a handful of my clients who got that letter the, to provide them that peace of mind that they were going to be okay with that backup plan if they happened to get the involuntary layoff. I can't tell you how how it made them sleep better at night, but also as their advisor, knowing that I was going to walk through this tough time, this tough journey with them and put them on the better side of it by being strategic and tactical within their financial plan. Clear Picture Financial is the program. Again, Jason Noble, uh, Prime Capital Investment Advisor, is your host. I'm Morgan Patrick, Consumer Advocate. We get into these topics about retirement. It's about education. Um, you know, you're in a situation where you're possibly thinking about planning for retirement. Maybe you're in the middle of a, a retirement plan and you have questions. I mean, the opportunity to talk about it, uh, put things out in front of you, uh, create that roadmap to get you to uh, your retirement. And think about the what ifs. We're talking about that right now. The Transamerica survey that came out, uh, just asking people what they know and what they don't know. Uh, about retirement. And the don't know is what has been shocking with some of these numbers. We've already talked about the fact that just 29% of us from this survey uh, have a written plan. A lot of people are thinking about retirement, but they haven't put it on paper. And, and working with a professional, you know, that's that ease of mind you talk about, Jason, where you, you, you kind of know, you know, you walk out of that meeting and you're like, you know what, I've started this. Or, you know, maybe I had to pivot uh, and I just feel better about where I am. So the backup plan was next in this survey. And not many people are thinking about the what-if scenario. So that is also part of the plan. I wanted to continue and get your thoughts on these other numbers from Transamerica's survey. Uh, and again, expected retirement age, maybe 15, 20 years ago, Jason, that number was probably around 65. But man, that has changed. It really has. Right now we're seeing 50% of workers expect to work to age 65. I would imagine that would have to be for Medicare purposes, right? Uh, transitioning right to Medicare. 31% of workers expect to work past 65. And 19% of workers do not plan to retire at all. Now, self-employed or unemployed workers, uh, and I'm just I know I'm throwing some numbers out, 63% of self-employed and 62% of unemployed workers are significantly more likely than employed workers to have these expectations. So I thought that was an interesting tidbit as well. And I'm, but that's the thing when I'm working with business owners or real estate investors is having right. that transition plan into retirement. What does that look like? Are they looking at selling their business or transition, transition the business to a family member? All these things are things that we could be discussing now, put a plan in place. And so when that time comes, we're ready to execute to that to what we're the desired outcomes are 
and then be able to course correct go to those dynamics that I've talked about before. Sure. Right? Course correct and having that backup plan. All this comes into play. And there's a comment that I hear a lot from my clients after we have a meeting, and that is confidence. Sure. I would get the email the next day or a quick text, and it would be, thank you so much. You put, you put confidence into my plan. And as an advisor, that means the world to me, to be able to provide that peace of mind, that confidence, and provide that clear picture so they can see where they're headed, how they're going to get there, and what to expect when they get there. I mean, think about this, folks. I mean, we're always going to be talking about retirement on the program, uh, but having that plan, having that ease of mind as you move towards retirement, you know, working with a professional who's been there, done that, been down this road before with other clients uh, can talk about things that may happen that you haven't really considered. Um, And that's, you know, so many people out there, and, and I go back to having the portfolio but not having a plan. You know, you're talking about transition of businesses and family, you know, legacy. I mean, if you have, it's almost like a test, you know, back when we were in college and we were going to school and, and I, I'm guilty, I, I would wait until the last minute and I would cram uh, and I would miss some things. But if I studied, uh, you know, weeks out heading up to that major exam and reviewed right before the exam, man, I did so much better than absolutely trying to crush it like in the last hours or two before the exam. Same thing goes for retirement planning. If you can sit down and map it out well before you get there, that's the peace of mind, the ease of mind you talk about, Jason. Well, look at the seriousness of what you were just outlining. Okay, and I'm not discounting the importance of getting good grades in college. Sure. But this is your retirement. This is you're the rest, a big chapter of your life. And if you're not, if you're trying to cram in <laughs> that at the last minute, right before you transition into retirement, you could have some awful news headed sure. your way. And it's, and that, that's worse than getting a bad grade because that impacts other facets of your overall life. It's true. And the it's quality true. of life. But if we're having the conversations now and you're retiring three, five, seven years from now, and we could make course corrections and adjustments today, that just puts more confidence into the plan. So when we get there, you're prepared and you're going to ace that exam. I like it. I like it. Look, we've got positions on your calendar. We're going to open those up right now and give our listeners and viewers an opportunity to sit down. We've got five spots. What's going to happen for these five callers? Yeah, if you're listening to our voices or seeing us right now, just want to say thank you. But you know what? This might be worthy of a call. It's going to assure you that it is. I just want to reassure you that it is. You've already taken some action to hear us. The next action is picking up the phone and reaching out to see how we can help. Now, if you're one of the next five callers with over $200,000 saved for retirement, we're going to give you a custom design of a clear picture analysis financial review that will indicate if you're in need of a full-blown wealth plan. There's absolutely no cost and no oblig- obligation for our listeners, but you, you do have to call right now. This analysis will include a portfolio risk assessment, which will provide a clear view of your current portfolio, the costs associated with it, and the risk that's being taken within your investments. Get this done as an important to have this reviewed. Next, we'll review your tax analysis to see if we can reduce your taxes and increase your cash flow. That will put more money in your pocket and less than Uncle Sam's. And I think we could all use that right now, right? Yeah. Now, finally, I just want to say, listeners, we will create a tailored retirement income plan using approaches and techniques that can really put a peace of mind to your retirement plan for the rest of your life. Let us help you take the guesswork out of your retirement planning, as I know these five spots will go quickly. Morgan, can you please give them the information that they'll need so they can reach out to us? Absolutely. Five positions. Again, you can come in and talk with Prime Capital Investment Advisors, Jason Noble and his team. Here's the number, 800-948-1216. That's 800-948-1216. No cost, no obligation. Again, no pressure. 800-948-1216. Call now. 